Hey guys, and welcome to your first tutorial in Discrete Math 2. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the rule of sum and the rule of product. So the rule of sum is if you have a bag, a magical bag, that has M objects or M, R, O, B, and let's make M is equal to the number of, um, let's say, books, n is equal to the number of laptops r is the number of um, let's say caps and o is the number of speakers and you want to find how many ways if uh, you put your hand in and you pick one at random um, what's the possibility or how many ways are there to get a different answer and this is simply m plus n plus r plus o plus however many numbers there are. So that's going to be equal to the number of ways to um, choose one at random. Now the rule of sum is a bit different. In this case, each one is in a bag. So if you have a bag of M, a bag of N, and a bag of R, and let's say um, there's M is M is equal to the number of um, laptops, and is the number of let's say bottles, and R is equal to the number of bags. So in this case you have to pick M first and then you can choose N and then you can choose R. So in this case you're gonna have M times N times R times however many other bags there are and that's gonna give you the number of ways to choose one of each. And remember that the rule of product has to be cut into steps. So in this case, we choose M first, and then N, and then R. So this is like um, step one, step two, and step three. However, in the rule of sum, it was just all in one step. Now we'll go with some examples. And here we have three laptops and ten phones. So let's label them. M and N. And we want to find the possible ways to choose only one of them. And this is the same as what we did earlier. We have just one bag, so the magical bag that has three laptops and ten phones. So you just put your hand at random, you're gonna have. 3 plus 10 is equal to 13 ways of choosing one, one of them at random. At random. So if you think about it, you can actually say um, if you put your hand once, you can get, um, say, laptop 1 or laptop 2 or laptop 3 or phone 1 or phone 2 or phone 3 all the way till phone um, 10 and this will add up to uh, 13 13 numbers and now for B we have how many pairs of one laptop and one phone can we have so in this case we have two bags one that has um, which one was first? One that has laptops. So this bag has laptops. And this bag has phones. So we know that there are three laptops and there are ten phones. So if we choose, um, let's say we picked laptop one. Then on for phones, there are ten other possibilities. Or choices of phones. So we have um, phone one, 
phone 2, phone 3, phone 4, all the way to phone 10. And here we have, we can have uh, laptop 1, phone 1. So that's one pair. Laptop 1, phone 1. Or laptop 1, phone 2. Laptop 1, phone 2. Or laptop 3, laptop 1, phone 3. And if we keep on doing this, um, all we're going to have is however number is in bag 1 times the number in bag 2. And that's going to give us 3 times 10 ways. So 30 ways of choosing a pair of a laptop and a phone. I hope you found this video made some sense and see you in the next video.